Plus, bizarre video of a candidate surfaces in a tight, ugly race. It's a video so strange that the candidate herself admits her supporters wondered what was going on. A group supporting her opponent alerted media to the video in what's the latest development in a very intense race. Let's get to News 13's Katie Kim. The House District covers a chunk of Northeast Albuquerque. The stakes are high in this race, so high that even the candidates admit things are getting a bit out of control. I sacrificed myself to the gods. The I YouTube video of Democrat Mary Ellen Broderick, a candidate for state rep, now, has a lot of people speechless. Right. Some people might perceive it to be a little bit kooky. Well, I think that Mary Ellen needs some acting lessons. Broderick is trying to make light of it, but she knows it's serious business. I am disappointed to see it that it's been dug out and it is a full distraction of what the people of this district want to hear. She blames her Republican opponent, incumbent rep Nate Gentry, is behind the two-year-old video resurfacing in the final stretch of the campaign. Broderick admits the video is strange, but says it was a parody response to a speech TV personality Glenn Beck made about taking the nation back to God. It was never meant to be used in this context, and unfortunately this man is choosing to do that, and uh, I think it really is, is telling of his character. I didn't release it. It's on YouTube. Gentry insists his campaign has nothing to do with it. This uh, video was posted um, by her for the whole world to see. So, uh, you know, just because she regrets posting it doesn't mean I'm responsible. Gentry also says Broderick threw the first punches in what has become a nasty and expensive race. Both candidates have sent countless mailers attacking the other. One in particular is causing a stir. The imagery is racist. A Gentry mailer about the death penalty pictures a faceless figure in a dark hoodie. Critics say that imagery is offensive because it sparks memories of Trayvon Martin, an African-American teen in Florida who was shot dead in February. He was also wearing a dark hoodie. They're reaching. Um, if you look at the mailer, the person on the mailer is Caucasian. Both Gentry and Broderick agree the race is taking a turn for the ridiculous, but they say they are both focused on the issues. Back to you. Okay, Katie, but that's not the end of it. The governor's PACs could get involved in the stretch run to attack Broderick, while the Patriot majority, a heavyweight PAC for the Democrats, is behind a lot of the negative ads against Gentry.